Welcome. What's going on? Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Um, it is uh, it's a great day. I'm here. I'm here in the, in some of the new space. You can kind of get a little uh, a little a little look around just in this area. It's it's freaking big. Um, this is just one section, and uh, it's actually where we're going to have <clears throat> our first marketing workshop uh, on next Monday, actually. And I know a bunch of you are coming, and I'm really excited to have you here, see the new space. Uh, dive into our workshop. Um, it, this is one of the main reasons why we took on almost this entire floor. We're like 85% of this floor now. And uh, obviously, one of the reasons is that we're growing and, uh, and, and clearly we need more space. The other part of it is also that you know, we want to really continue to educate and give back and do workshops, uh, both for clients, right? Like in-depth, deep stuff, and then pro you know, other other folks, prospects, and 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 you and anybody else that really wants to uh, get the real information that you actually need in order to grow your business. And uh, we just feel like it's lacking a bit. And the digital stuff, the virtual stuff, is awesome, uh, but the in-person stuff sometimes is even cooler, right? So this is some of the new space. This is going to be uh, next Monday filled of about you know 40 people really really pumped for that but what I'm here today to talk about is why you need a more powerful network in order to grow your business it is imperative that you have a powerful network of people that have accomplished what you're trying to accomplish or have been there have seen it before have they can peer around corners um, and you want to fill as many of those people in your network as you possibly can because the more of those people that are around you the more the faster you're going to get where you're going to want to go and the more information and the more knowledge and the more insight you're going to have in a shorter time frame, right? Like somebody says that, you know, you're the average of the five people you're, you're around the most. I think that's true to some extent, but I think you're just an average of all of the people that you spend time with. And so you need to add more people into your network that are going to increase your net worth, that are going to increase the growth of your business, that are going to get you to, to, to live the life that you want to live, right? Whatever that is for you specifically, you need to put those people around you, right? Like a good example is uh, if you want to make more money, you want to be more financially sound, the last thing you should be doing is surrounding yourself by broke people, <laughs> right? Like you want to surround yourself with other people that make investments, have made money, have grown businesses, know how to invest, know how to you know, manage and leverage money and know how to leverage debt properly. You want to surround yourself with those people if that's the thing that you, that you want. But most people ultimately end up asking people advice about things that those people have never accomplished and then they wonder why it doesn't work. So it's imperative, it is so important that you grow your network if you want to grow yourself, your mental state, and your business. Like, it's absolutely a must-do. Um, thanks, I'm a couple comments here. There's a really crazy one from this crazy guy Dave up top. That's, that's like wacky shit. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Dave. Uh, Fred, looking forward to this one. Yeah, me too, Fred. Thanks for checking in, man. Uh, Jay, looking forward. All about the network. Absolutely, Jay. Network is absolutely super, super, super important. What could be, could be, if not is, the most important thing that you need to focus on if you want to grow your business and you want to grow your life. Darren, perfect timing. I have some questions. Awesome, Darren. Ask away, man. Shoot them in here. We'll have some time for Q&A, but definitely drop them in. I'll, I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can. Um, Megan, is this the right place when he goes live? Last time I was wrong. Facebook location. Yes, Megan. <laughs> I'm sure, sure you guys figured it out. Yep, in here, I'm live. Uh, this is the right place. So um, I, I want to, uh, well, first of all, actually, um, I want to do. I want to do something. I'm going to show just a quick little. Uh, I, I want to just show a quick little video that uh, one of my editors made uh, today. It's just a fun. It's just a fun little bit. Uh, it's like 10, 15 seconds, something like that. Uh, 20 seconds. Just a little hyperlapse of the space. Not just as it is today, but like a little bit of sort of time lapse mixed in. Anyway, it's cool. It was just a work in progress through together today, but I thought it was kind of kind of neat. So I'll show it to you. Give you a little 20 second uh, peek at uh, a little bit of the growth here at Bull Worldwide. Anyway, just a little little sneak peek. Um, 
<laughs> really, 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 really excited for the topic that we have today. Uh, let me just make sure I can navigate to, I'm actually going to, I got a little bit of a, a screen share, which is pretty exciting. I don't normally do this on Facebook. I usually reserve this for some of our, um, you know, either, either webinars or some of our boot camps or the in-person networking stuff. But I wanted to make sure that ultimately what I'm doing here today um, is as valuable as I can possibly, possibly make it for you because you're spending time with me. You're giving me your time. I want to give you everything that I've got and, 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 and give you everything that I can give you the tools to really help you grow your business. So let me switch over here. Um, just give me one second, see if this comes up on screen. All right, hang on tight one second here. Uh, there was a little issue, obviously, with the audio. Let me fix this. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, you guys can see me and hear me now, right? There's always something, man. There's always something with these things. Uh, whatever, we'll get it right one day. One day, I'll, get, I'll have a flawless Facebook Live, but that's okay. Until we get there, it's all good. It's all good. So I think we're good now. Let me uh, let me just double check here that the audio. Yep, I think we're. I think our audio is good now. So let me know if you can. We're gonna have, should I say Rocket Fuel for Growth, and hopefully, hopefully, you guys can uh, hear me now as well as. Um, see the deck. Yes, we can see and hear you. Beautiful, beautiful. Thumbs up. Thank you. Super happy. All right, great. So here, here's what we're gonna. Uh, here's what we're gonna get into. Um, here's what we're gonna get into right now. Why is it not play? Let's see. Let's see if you guys can. Uh, in one sec here. This goes full screen. Do you do I lose it? Yes. Why is that happening? Okay. <laughs> man, this is messed up, man. It's not letting me uh it's not letting me go to the next slides. Give me one sec. All right. Whatever you're gonna you're you're gonna get to see a little bit of the sidebar there. That's all good. I don't know why it's not uh, working properly. Does not matter. So rocket fuel for growth. Let's get into this. Why you need a more powerful network to grow your business. I'm going to talk about why that is absolutely absolutely imperative. Um, I'm going to make a commitment to you guys here. Right. I am going to deliver you a new perspective that you can use right away. But. I'm going to give you a bunch of my time here. It's 5 p.m. It, you know, I'm, I am going to deliver as much value as I possibly can. I'm going to make the commitment that you will be able to use some of this new perspective right away. Um, but I expect some commitment from you. I'm going to, I take this very, very, very seriously. Um, I need you to commit to what you know is possible. You are here because you know there is more opportunity. There is another level. There is more that you can be doing. And I need you to play full in to get the most out of this, right? If I, I can be here and I can do this all day, but if you're not going to be willing to play all in and give me everything you've got because I'm going to give you everything I've got, then you're not going to get anything out of it. And so can you give me your word? Just say yes if you're going to play full in and commit to what you know is possible. And I will absolutely deliver uh, on this for you on Facebook Live. Again, I don't normally do decks. That's why we're having some technical challenges here. 
I am going to deliver the level of value that I would give if you were at, uh, you know, if you were at one of my live events or or anything else for that matter. Just give me, just give me a yes if you are willing to commit to that. Yes, yes, thumbs up, great. All right. If you're not, it's probably a waste of your time, but that's okay. I think everybody, if you're in here, you are fully committed. Um, stick around. Some of you may have seen this. I've been kind of showing it a little bit, uh, but we are launching a new podcast called Think Bold, um, and this is just a little few minutes, three or four minutes with an uh, interview I did with Ed Milet. Super, super, super powerful. He's also going to be talking about why network is so freaking important and, and give you some additional context and some mindset and how you can apply this. So not just me talking about it, Ed Let's going to talk about it, and you'll get a sneak peek into the new Think Bold podcast. So, let's kick this off. Welcome to Bold. <laughs> um, this is a couple of quick pictures, right? Got it. Got it. Got to throw in the uh, you know, got to throw in the gratuitous uh, photos of uh, me and Ed Milet and me and Grant Cardone and me and Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez and Benny Medina just chilling, hanging out on set in Hollywood. Um, the reason I show these to you is because um, uh, you know I have an incredibly super strong, powerful network of people that have helped me build my business, build myself, build my self worth, build my network, build my. Uh, uh, um, build, build, build my bank account, everything, right? It's all about who do you know, who you're surrounded with, and people that not only can help you get to the next level, but you can add value to them and contribute and also learn and take away from what they have already experienced. This is, a, this is the video that I already shot, saw, showed you. You already saw it. Um, but before we talk about, and, and again, I'm not, I'm not talking about this to, to brag about my network. While it is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, it did not come overnight. This is not some, you know, thing of where awesome, cool, I, I, I took a Facebook ads course and all of a sudden all these people know me. This has been an 18-year journey. Um, that's me when rollerblading was cool in the mid-90s. Uh, that's my first skate video that I, I, I sold uh, for $40,000 when I was 16 years old and a little cool little newspaper clipping a handful of years later. Anyway, um, I show this to you because... You know, for me, what, what was very interesting is, is very early on, um, I knew that I needed to not do the w things the way that everyone told me to do them. I don't know why. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just because I was a teenager and I was a little bit rebellious. Um, but everybody told me, hey, you know, you can't make a living skating. I want to be a pro skater. Then when I said, hey, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm good. My, I'm like not an X Games level good, but I'm pretty damn good. Uh, but my friends are in the X Games. I'm going to make a skate video. I'm going to start making skate videos. And then people said, dude, but you don't, you don't know how to edit. You, you, don't, you don't know how to, uh, you know, you, you don't know how to do any of those things. Like, how are you going to learn to edit? How are you going to learn to film? How are you going to create any of this stuff? And, and then when I started doing it, like, oh, dude, that's, that's nice that you go and, like, film the skate stuff every once in a while. But, like, dude, you can't make a living doing that. And I was like, F you, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it my way. And, you know, so for me... Um, you know, I, I just felt that in my heart of hearts. I just knew that there was this little rebel side of me that I'm like, look, man, there is a better way. I know we can do this better. I know I can make this happen. I know we can make a living, you know, something with these skate videos. I know it can make a living making videos. <laughs> little did I know it actually, you know, lead to where I am today. But that's, you know, 18 years ago. And I just knew that, that there was something more, that there was something bigger. And one of the you know, biggest challenges for me was that, um, you know, when growing up, I was surrounded by, um, uh, I was surrounded by people that were awesome. They meant well, all blue car collar, uh, you know, family. There's not one entrepreneur in my family. There's not one business owner, no one. I, I didn't meet another business owner or entrepreneur until I was doing business myself. Um, and so everyone was giving me the safe information. Hey, you ha don't make skate videos. You've got to go to college and then go to college and then you got to get a job and then you get a job and then you work your way up. And eventually, maybe you can do the cool skate videos that you want to do 30 years from now once you've made some money and retired and have a 401k. And I just do in my heart of hearts that that wasn't right. Um, but I started listening to, to, to those people and you know, and, 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 you know, I, I, I went to, well, I signed up for college. It's my senior year of high school. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go to art school. I'll go to college. Um, and, you know, and for, for me, I'm like, okay, I'll play it uh, that way. And this is a picture of me and my dad, uh, obviously around, uh, around uh, uh, October. And, uh, and, and so for me, I was like, all right, 
like I, I guess I got to listen to these people, right? Like, you know, high school teachers, family, friends of family, like everybody telling me like, dude, you got to go to college, you got to do it this way. And my dad, who is an amazing freaking person, like absolutely amazing guy. He spent over 30 years in the military. He was in the Air Force. He was a lieutenant colonel. Uh, he worked his way up. He was a badass. He was an awesome, awesome, awesome guy. And, you know, thank you to anybody else who's, who has served because, it, you know, it really means a lot. But here's the thing, right? Like, while he loved the military and while he was super dedicated to his country um, and he really did enjoy that, it wasn't his ultimate goal. His ultimate goal was to teach kids and to open a science center and to travel more. And he was waiting to do that until after he retired from the military. So fast forward to you know me being uh, 17 years old, it's my senior year in, 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 in high school, and uh, my dad is going to retire. And it's actually October. And so it is his, um, it, it's his last weekend uh, before work. Uh, his last day of work is that Monday, right? He's gonna come in, you know, do like the sign the paperwork and all that kind of stuff. But he, he was retiring. And that Friday um, night, my parents scrapped together a bunch of, uh, you know, any money that they had. And they were putting together this retirement party where people that hadn't seen him in 20 or 30 years were flying out to finally come see him. He's retiring from the military. Um, you know, people coming from, from everywhere that had known him for forever. Um, and so anyway, so it's that Sunday night, he writes this beautiful email thanking everybody in, uh, you know, in the Air Force that he'd worked with, uh, wrote this little poem, very beautiful, um, and thanked everybody like, hey, thanks so much for the trip, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see you, you know, at the retirement party. That was, uh, that was his last night. He died of a heart attack at, you know, in, in sometime, uh, you know, at late night. And, um, you know, it was extremely unexpected. And, you know, none of us saw, saw it coming. He, he didn't see it coming, obviously. And it was really, really, really fucking tough. And that Friday, which was supposed to be his retirement party, was actually his funeral. And I realized in that moment that if there was any gift that my dad gave to me, it was that I really, truly learned that you cannot wait. You can't wait until you get to the point of which you're ready. You can't wait to take the action for in the order of which everybody tells you that you should. You have to just get after it. You got to go after it. You got to figure it out. And you got to make it happen today because if you wait 30 years, you might never actually make it happen. And so while my dad was an amazing person, the biggest lesson I take from him is that you cannot wait and you have to do it your way and you got to do it now. And you shouldn't do it in the order which everybody tells you. You should do it in the order in which your heart, your heart of hearts knows is possible. You know, you know that there's a different way. You know there's a better way. You need to do it that way. Whatever it is. Whatever the thing is that you're trying to accomplish. Whatever that goal is that you're trying to reach. You got to do it your way. Not the order of operations that somebody else told you. If you know a better way, even if you've never done it before, you need to go after it. But the biggest thing is, the biggest takeaway I can give you outside of that is you can't go it alone. You know, that, that, that for me was one of the biggest, I don't really live with mistakes, but you know, I grew my, you know, I, I dropped out of college. I was like, F this, I dropped out of college, like my associate's degree, but I, I, I dropped out during my bachelor's, um, the third day of my bachelor's, um, you know, and, and, and I was like, look, I'm just going all in, man. I'm going back to making videos. I'm going to build a production company. And I did that. And I grew a very successful production company. But in the first three, four years, it was really tough. You know, I, I didn't know anybody. Again, I didn't have, I didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs. Nobody told me what to do. I didn't have the order of operations, right? I was, because I was, I was ignoring the way that everybody was telling me because those people had never done it before. But I didn't have anybody around me in my network that had done it before. And so what happened to me, what happened to me was I ended up on my couch, man. I ended up a quarter million dollars in debt. I ended up not making, not making payroll once. I ended up, um, you know, I ended up three months behind on my personal, or two months behind on my personal rent with the eviction notices getting pasted on the door. This is, now this is 12 years ago that that's happened to me. You know, I had to rent out my partner on the Upper East Side and I lived on the couch. I had to put my shit in the ca kitchen cabinets because there was nowhere else for me to store my stuff and I couldn't afford to store it anywhere. You know, and, and the thing of it though was, is what I realized is after one night, I come home from working my ass off. Like, don't get me wrong. I didn't end up in this position because I, I was, I was half-assing it. I was killing myself. But I, I wasn't doing, some stuff wasn't clicking. And what I realized, I was trying to learn everything the hard way. But one night I come home and um, the, the guy who's renting my apartment is sitting on the couch, which is basically my bed. 
And he's like, hey, watch this awesome documentary. And he's like 30 minutes into this three-hour documentary, and it's like 11 p.m. And I realized, dude, I can't tell this guy to like get the fuck off the couch because I want to go to sleep because basically it's his couch, man. He's paying all the rent. And so that was like my absolute rock bottom, dude. I was so depressed. I woke up the next day and was like, I need to make a change. And I talked about this. I read some books and, you know, I'd like Tony Robbins, but I'd never seen him. And I, and I knew that he was, I'd saw an ad that he was going to be in New York, um, you know, a, a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks later. And I took the next month's, what he paid me for next month's rent. Grant, remember, I'm two months behind. I took that money and I went to Tony Robbins. And it absolutely, absolutely, utterly changed my life. It took me 12 months. I got off the couch. I made my first million dollars and I got completely out of debt. It was freaking unbelievable. And the difference was, is I was, I was missing a powerful network. Like that was the difference. Like just by getting in a room of 5,000 people who were like-minded, who were thinking like I was, or, or knew that there was a better way, led me to a powerful network. I got around other people who were hungry, who had accomplished more than I had, other entrepreneurs, other business people. And that was how I turned around the business from me being a quarter million dollars in the hole, living on a couch, totally depressed, about to be homeless and totally broke, to building a seven-figure a, 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 a production company that worked with ad agencies like Ogilvy and BBDO, and we produced stuff for Weight Watchers and every other major brand that you've probably heard of. And that was my first company. I bought my business partner out and started Bold in 2010. Network is absolutely, unequivocally, the most important thing for you and for me and for anyone else in business. Network is better and bigger and more important than working in a silo. You cannot go it alone. You cannot figure this stuff out alone. You, can't take, you cannot take advice from people that have not accomplished anything or have not done or don't have knowledge. Because I think that's what a lot of us do is we try to grab, like we try to ask all these other people, but they, they haven't done it before. They don't know. So they're just giving their best guess. You might as well guess because in your heart of hearts, you know what you should do anyway. So you shouldn't take advice from the people who haven't done it, but you need to go find the people who have. You need to create that network. You need to get yourself around other people and other humans that, ha that can put you in a position to succeed faster. That's how I went from being on the couch, quarter million dollars in debt, to doing my first million in 12 months, getting off the couch, getting out of debt, and getting rid of that roommate. Um, and so um, that was the first step 12 years ago to building this massive network where literally I could text eight billionaires right now. I was texting with a friend of mine who is a billionaire the other day. We we're talking about some business and some strategy. And that didn't, again, that didn't happen overnight. That's happened over the last 18 years. But the first step was getting into a bigger and more important network and finding out other people that could help me shortcut to where I need to go and see around those corners. Um, this is, I'm gonna play for you uh, 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 real quickly. This is a, a little clip. I don't, I don't think this is the final edit. I think they're still doing the audio mix and stuff, so I apologize if it's not quite right. Uh, this is a little one minute clip from our Think Bold event back in November. And the reason I'm showing you this is because, man, we put this on in two and a half weeks. And I had Hank Norman, who a lot of you guys know, who's one of the best media moguls in the world. He's, he works with Grant Cardone and, and, and Steve Harvey and everybody else. And then I had Jeffrey Hazlett, who's a C former CMO of Kodak, uh, now the, the founder and owner of, of C-Suite Network, Heroes Network. I mean, these guys are freaking uh, the bomb. And it had Jesse, uh, uh, um, hashtag Boss Lee, Jesse Lee, who, who she's ultra, ultra successful, and a bunch of other really great freaking people. Rob Cressy was there. And... Why was I able to pull this off? Because I had a powerful network that I created over the years. So check this out. I think this is freaking cool anyway, even though my editors are like, dude, don't show it yet, it's not done. Check it out. What's up, Think Bold? Think Bold is about thinking bigger. Three weeks ago, this wasn't even an idea. Difference between you not doing it and the people doing it is just taking action. That's all this is. That's the authenticity. Just press record, turn your fucking phone on, start showing you. Be edgy, be edgy. Be who you are and just do it more. Just do it louder. The way people make decisions is also how we communicate because when you close people, you got to connect with them. Your ability to convey your ideas to others effectively, efficiently, and accurately will actually dictate the success of your business. Everybody talking about how you should fail fast, and I'm here to tell you that's just bullshit. You shouldn't fail fast, you should look at winning fast. Put your hand up, raise it as high as you can. Every single person here, their arm went up. You needed permission to know you could go higher. 
a lot of what we're all waiting for is permission to take that action, to take that step, to get on social media, to tell your real story, to press record. What's holding you back is waiting for somebody else to say, you can do it. This is your permission. Think Bold is the permission to do what you want to do. Does that sound good to you? Does that sound good? So there you go. So there's a little quick clip of of Think Bold. It was really freaking cool. I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, So before, so now I'm going to get into actual tactics. We're going to do a little mini workshop here on Facebook Live. I'm going to give you a little workshop on how you can build your network. And I'm going to ask you some questions and you can work through this stuff. And again, I told you I would give you 120%. I need you to play full in and give me your commitment. So before we jump into that, um, I've been talking a little bit. I know some of you know my backstory, some of you don't. So, you know, some of that might be new. Some of you might have heard a ton. Um, I, I want to know, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions about building your network? or about how I got to this point where I have the network that I do and the people that I know and being able to put on, you know, these events and and grow this business and take on (laughs) 10,000 more freaking square space, uh, square feet uh, in downtown Manhattan as we're growing rapidly. What questions do you have? I'll answer a couple of those and then we're going to get into some direct tactics and I'm going to help you build your network and talk about what you need to think about. (laughs) <laughs> Darren Butler, hopefully I'll be at the next one. Yes, man, you got to come. It's going to be awesome. Uh, amazing. Tiffany, thank you, thank you. Fred's amazing. Awesome. I pre- appreciate you. Jay, appreciate your curiosity, orientation, search process, accountability for outcomes. I appreciate you too, Jay. Thank you so much. Um, Mike is just joining. I see that. That's really cool. So, um, so any questions you have about building your network or about how I've gotten to this point of where I'm at, and then I'm going to start getting into some actual tactics that you guys can use to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish and build your network. Um, Darren has a question. I've I fell. I feel I've got a diverse, successful network. How do I leverage it for myself? I mean, what do you think you should do? <laughs> what do you think you're not asking them? What do you think you're not doing for them? That's my question to you. If you've got the network, what are you missing? What aren't you doing? What aren't you telling them about? What aren't you asking them for? Seriously, you can answer that. I'm just curious, right? Like when you ask me that question, that's what comes to my mind. What You know better than I do. Sounds like you're just hesitating. Is that, is, is that right? Am I wrong? Is it hesitation? What are, Jay, what are some of your favorite books, movies, or movie scenes? Um, favorite books? Uh, the 10X Rule, Be Obsessed or Be Average. Um, hang on, let me pull up my actual recent uh, book list, and I'll give you a few that you can, uh, I'm reading the McKinsey Edge right now. Let's see, what else do I have? What else? What else do I have in my books? Um, I'll give you a few that I think are worth reading. Uh, Here we go. Here we go. Well, actually, I think You Need More Money for Matt. My my friend Matt Monero is awesome. Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone is one of my favorites. So is 10X. Uh, Relentless from Tim Grover. Amazing book. The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Great freaking book. Um, Living with a Seal, Jesse Isler. Great book. Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. I'll give you, I'll give you one or two more. Uh, Creativity Inc. I thought was a really good book as well. Anyway, there's so many. There's so many great freaking books, but those are those are some of my favorites. Um, movies. Ghostbusters is my favorite movie. But for me, documentaries, uh, podcasts, that kind of stuff. I'm a very like, I'm not a fiction guy. I'm a, I'm a nonfiction type of a person. So anyway, let's, let's, let, let me jump into it here. Let's get into, let me give you some tactics on how you can build your network. Just click over here. All right, so what I want you to do, and I need you again, I'm, I'm going to give this to you. You guys need to play full out here. Answer these questions so we can help you build your network. The first question, and I ask this often because it's really kind of crazy to me how many people, whether we're talking about a big um, company or a big executive, or we're talking about a startup entrepreneur, that not a lot of people actually get very clear on here. What is your number one goal for the next 12 months? 
What is your number one goal? I know we all have a ton of crap that we're trying to accomplish in the next 12 months. What is the number one goal? Like, gun to your head, have to accomplish this thing. What is that number one goal for you in the next 12 months? Not the next six, not the next three, not the next 60 years. What is the number one goal for you over the next 12 months? Answer that. Like, write this down or type it or even better, answer, put, put your 12-month goal into the comments here if you're comfortable doing that. I encourage you to do stuff like that, and here's why. Because guess what? You're in a network right now. There are people in this feed, or who will see this feed later, that could help you reach your goal. Most of us, probably you, are too afraid to talk about these things openly, which is one of the reasons why you don't get them. Right? One of the biggest things about, for those of you that know about my series Growing Bold, that was one of the biggest things that changed, and my friend Hank, Hank Norman told me this. He said, when you start actually putting out into the world that you're building a $100 million company, that's your goal and your target, you talk about it openly and honestly, guess what's going to happen? Other people are going to get on board with your mission, and they're going to help you get there faster. He was 1 million percent right. That's 1 million percent right. It's, I mean, I am a living case study of that. And so for you, not talking about your goal, say, hey, I'm going to be quiet about it because it's financial and I don't want anybody to know, guess what? You know, nervous I was when, it, when it, like Grant Cardone asked me straight up. He, I'm on his on, on his show somewhere at some point. And he asked me how much I made that time when he was interviewing me, and I was like, oh my god. When it showed up on the internet, it freaked me out. Why? I don't know. I guess because we're taught not to talk about that stuff. But guess what, dude? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. But if you don't talk about it, I'm not going to talk about it for you, and nobody else is either. So, what is your number one goal over the next 12 months? Um, 50 weddings booked and done. Awesome. Do it. Uh, one clear short term, uh, one clear short term debt and become self sufficient. Do it. I love it. Success Nutrition Club and consent, uh, consistent clientele. Love it. Transfer 100 live, uh, translator for 100 lives and 1,000 help. Great. Do it. You guys got to do it. So now that you've got your goal or you've written it down or already knew it for the next 12 months, ask yourself this question. This is, this is the secret. Answer this. What would it look like for you if you achieved this? What does it look like? What does it feel like 12 months from now when you've achieved that goal? Dude, are you like shouting from the freaking mountaintops? Are you like, hell yeah, dude, I did it. Are you financially solvent? Do you feel good? Does your family feel better? Are you taking care of your kids? Are you spending more time with your kids? Are you happier? Are you healthier? Do you have more clients? Do you have more money? Do you, did you go on that trip that you wanted to finally go on? What does it look like for you if you achieve that goal in 12 months, what does that look like? What does that feel like? What changes for you? Again, write it down. Again, I'm going to challenge you and say, dude, write it down in the comments because that makes it real. Now there's some accountability. Other people have seen you say it, right? At least write it down on paper. But if you're comfortable and open to it, write it in the comments. Let me give you a second to think about this. You know? Because also, also, too, when I was talking to somebody the other day, I was, doing a, I was consulting a client, and <clears throat> man, it, it's really funny how often we think the thing that we want is really the thing we want, when it's really just a means to the other thing we want, meaning a lot of people are like, oh, dude, I want a million dollars. Well, what do you want a million dollars for, man? Well, I want, a, I want total financial freedom so I can travel the world. Great, so what you don't want is a million dollars. What you want is financial freedom in order to travel the world. So how do you figure out how do you travel the world while being financially solvent, right? Like, anyway, so figure out, like, what does that look like for you? Proud to be myself, not surprised because the system is placed for this to happen? Great answer. Have a final product launch, have done work for it, to get the house for my family? Awesome, all great answers. That's what it feels like for you 12 months from now if you've achieved this. Now, answer this question for me. What impact would it have if I did not? Dude, 12 months from now, you didn't hit your goal. You freaking failed. You missed it. Or you didn't try. Or you didn't get it. Or didn't pan out. What impact would that have on you? Are you broke? Are you sad? Are you depressed? Do you give up? What is it? What's the downside to not getting after this goal? To not achieving it? Or at least not getting close to it? What impact does that have on your life? Write it down. Again, better off, put it in the comments. I don't care if you're watching this later on replay. Do it anyway. Put it in the comments because, again, when you do this stuff and you play full out, if you're watching this later and you didn't type it in the comments, rewind back to my first question, start watching again, and start typing in the comments. doesn't matter if I'm not going to be able to respond to you. 
Other people are going to come and see this. I'm going to see it later. I might comment and come back five days from now. You have no idea what happens when you actually make a public announcement of the things you, you do want to accomplish or you're not or your goals or what it's going to feel like. So really, 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 really dig down deep. What would it have, what impact would it have on you if you did not reach your goal, right? Like the other was like, dude, what's the upside, man? How great is it? Now it's like, dude, you didn't hit this goal. What's messed up? What's not right for you? How bad does it feel? What do you feel like inside? What do people think about you? You said you were gonna do this and you didn't. What does that have an impact on your life if you do not reach that main goal that you set for yourself in 12 months? If I don't, no one will believe what I do. Debt increases beyond manageable limits, struggling to keep head above water. That's, that sucks, man. Yeah, that's stuff for real. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, we're so in it. We're so close to it. We're so in the weeds. We don't think about what does it feel like when we win, but we also don't feel, we'd also very rarely ask ourselves, what does it feel like if I lose, if I don't do this? And you know why? Do you know why it's so important? Do you know why it's so absolutely, imperatively important that you think about not just the win, but you think about the loss? Because, let me tell you this, for me, right, building a $100 million ad agency, and we're on our way there, right? Like, for me, it is two things. I think about what is it going to be like? How many lives am I going to change? How many other, how many employees' lives am I going to change? How many clients' lives am I going to change? Dude, what is it like for me and for my family and for the business? And what, what does everybody here get? What is ev how does everybody win? What does that look like at 100 million? Dude, it's really awesome. It's freaking exciting. And that is enough to get me up out of bed and to drink some freaking coffee at 5 p.m. and get onto Facebook Live to share my story with you. And go after it, simultaneously, if I don't get that, what does that mean for me? For me, it's like, dude, you're going to end up back on that couch, dude. You're going to end up on the couch, you're going to be depressed, you're going to hate your life, you're going to question everything you've done, you're going to question everything you didn't do, and it's going to freaking suck, and you're going to feel like you did 12, 13 years ago. I don't want that. I never want that. Dude, I will never feel that again because, dude, I never want to be back there. And so what happens to me? This part is pulling me forward, dude. Like, really pulling me forward. I want it so bad. And the other part is pushing me away. Dude, the two of those things are so powerful, you're almost guaranteed if you take the action now, and you gotta take the action, you're almost, and you have the passion, and you have the knowledge, and you can execute, you'll freaking get to where you're going, man. One's pushing you away, dude, you don't wanna go over here, and the other is pulling you, come over here. Dude, that is so powerful. But most of us are not taught to think that way. Most of us are taught to just think in, what's your goal? How are you gonna get there? Dude, that's not enough, man. Emotion drives us. It's not the tactics the emotion that drives you. You're driven by how you feel. Dude, when you feel like crap in the morning, you make a decision about staying in bed. You make a decision about hitting snooze because you feel like crap. You don't hit snooze because you're like, well, technically, I have four and a half extra minutes and nine, hour, nine minutes of extra sleep will make me feel great. Dude, you know that's not the truth. Right? You spend more money than you have because you think it'll make you feel better. You buy something cool and shiny because it'll make you feel better. Right? You watch some movie because it's going to be funny or it's going to be cool or maybe I'm going to learn something because you're going to feel something. We make every decision in our lives based on how we feel, but we oftentimes don't look at our goals and connect how am I going to feel when I hit it and how am I going to feel when I don't hit it. you got to drive yourself through emotions because if you don't, Somebody else is. Somebody else is going to dictate your life because you are going to allow them to impact how you feel and then you're going to make decisions on how you feel and not based on what you want. You can manipulate yourself into figuring out how do I freaking get this thing over here that I want and how do I push myself away from what I don't want. And the only way to do that is through emotion. And you got to get crystal clear. You got to get crystal clear on that. And then the other question you've got to ask yourself, who's helping you make it happen? Who is helping you get there? Who? Answer this. Is there anybody in your life that's really making it you, helping you get there? And I mean like, They've been there before. They're giving you guidance. They're giving you insights. They're teaching you. They're connecting you with people. They're getting you into a network. They're growing your network. You're giving value to them and they're giving value to you. Not just like, you know, your mom who's like, you can do it, but she can't help you. And there's nothing wrong with the motivation, but I'm asking you, who's actually helping you? Do you have someone that's helping you? 
And do you have multiple people that are helping you get there? Because you need to surround yourself with those people. You need to surround yourself with people that can help make you get there. And then the question you have to ask you, yourself is, great, even if you do have people that are helping you get there, who can help you get there faster? Who can help you get there faster? Because the question I want you to ask that's not on the screen is, has somebody else done what I'm trying to do? And if they've done it faster than I am doing it right now, I can guarantee, unless you're inventing the new Facebook, which please don't. <laughs> but if you, unless you're doing that, unless you're inventing something that's never existed before, if you are in a business or an industry that has already existed, I guarantee you, you can find dozens, if not hundreds, maybe even thousands of examples of people that have gotten there faster than you have gotten to where you are today. And if they can do it, you can do it. The difference is they know the tricks, they know the shortcuts, they know the cheat codes, and you don't. So who could help you get there faster? Who has the insights and the experience that can get you to where you want to go faster? Think about this. Who has your cheat codes, man? Who's got it for you? Who's got the cheat codes, right? My good friend Andrew, a Andrew Devlin, awesome, awesome guy, um, super successful. He told me this story one time. He said, hey, you know, he's like, he's like my age. He was uh, his, like, nephew or something was, like, playing some video games. He was over visiting. And the nephew was like, hey, why don't you play with me? He's like, yeah, sure, okay. Andrew's like, I don't play video games. But, like, I get it. The concept of the game was easy. I know how to play, you know, video games. Like, whatever, sure. Had Nintendo back in the day. Great. Starts playing, getting his butt kicked by this, like, six-year-old. Like, butt destroyed. Like, kicked his ass. Right? <laughs> just like absolutely like the, like the six-year-old is just totally destroying it and you know look it's it's not like some six-year-old who's six years of life experience well really probably like four years of life experience compared to like 30 something years of life experience can like figure out a video game some couple of buttons like so much better and so much faster like what's the deal then he was actually like hey look like let me think about this from like a tactical perspective and he started thinking about it and looking at it and he realized a couple of things he realized that guess what as like the little things were popping out and shooting, the, 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 the kid's guy with a little character would like jump before, before there was even something on screen. Why? He's played the game before, man. He's played the game before. He knows that when they get to this point, somebody's going to shoot at him. So he's going to jump before it even happens. People that have been there before know that what's going to happen. They can see around corners because they know. They know. So if you're just kind of walking through playing the game for the first time, and then, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was supposed to jump here. Oh, and you get shot and you get to start over again, right? You got to take a couple steps back. You lose a life, whatever it might be. But if you had somebody with you that's like, hey, there's going to be this guy who's going to pop out of his bushes and shoot, so you should jump probably in like 10 seconds, and you jump and you jump over the bullet and you, you keep going and you beat the bad guy? Why? Because they got the cheat codes, man. They've seen it. They've played the game before. You got to get around people that have played the game before. That is is the biggest secret who's got your cheat codes the biggest problem for me is when i ended up on the couch dude i wasn't surrounded by anybody that had my cheat codes dude, i wasn't surrounded by anybody that had built a production company or you know, nowadays at least an, an ad agency and so i was just making it up as i went along i was playing the game for the first time and i was losing lives and i was getting shot and i was getting beat up and that's how i ended up on the couch but then I went and started surrounding myself with other super successful people and other people trying to make it and other people that had gumption and passion and motivation and connections and dude, and I turned it around in less than a year. And now, fast forward, <laughs> like this is just the content example of Growing Bull, right? Had Alex Rodriguez on the show, Ed Milek, Grant Cardone, we've been featured on Social Media Week, Yahoo Finance, Wall Street Journal, Fortune, CBS, Fox, <laughs> Forbes, The Street, freaking basically everywhere. And this even needs to be updated. This was some data that I showed at ThinkBull for anybody that made it there. We have 18, millions, 18 million views on four hours of our content just from Growing Bold. Forget all the other stuff I've done. Just Growing Bold. 18 million freaking views. Over 100,000 comments and direct messages. New business in the multiple seven figures. And guess what? If you were to try to buy four hours of 18 million views, that's like, I, I can't even tell you off the top of my head how many Super Bowl commercials that is. It's ridiculous. Oh, there you go. It's the equivalent of 480 30 second TV commercials. That'd be buying 480 30 second national TV freaking commercials. It would be like a quarter billion dollar TV buy. We did it for less than half a million bucks. Like, that's freaking cool, but 
it's because of my network. It's because of the people that I know. There's Aira. There's Patrick Bet David. They're good friends of mine. These guys are awesome. It's because I've created this network. I've surrounded myself with these people that I know how to freak. I know what's coming next. I can anticipate. We're working with big clients as, as big as PepsiCo, you know, all the way down to some other startups. Is that we're not just seeing what I'm experiencing. We're doing this at scale for big and small and medium-sized brands. And so, dude, like, I've had this experience. I've got the freaking cheat codes, not just for myself, but for my entire freaking network. This is, this is, and this is awesome, man. This is going to be, so I mentioned, you know, we're, we're launching our new podcast called Think Bold. This is just a, a four-minute or five-minute clip. Uh, from what's going to be one of our episodes. Uh, this is with uh, myself and Ed Milet. And, th and this is where him and I are actually talking about this, about talking about bringing people into your network in, 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 in how powerful that is. And Ed is just an amazing human, uh, just has such a great way of, of putting this that I think is so powerful. I wanted to make sure I share it with you guys. Check it out. Making all these damn deposits. You're working 18 hours a day. You're doing all this. How come the account isn't growing? And eventually most people go, ah, screw it. And so what I did is I just kept making those deposits and I stuck around long enough until the account started to grow. Seriously. That was like a major part of it as I just stayed. And then over time, I think the biggest shift for me was I came into business with, and I didn't know it, but really low self-worth, hmm. really low self-confidence. And you're only going to get out of your business life or any element of your life, what you believe you deserve, what you believe you're worth. Right. And I just didn't believe that about myself. Hmm. I just didn't. And I talk all the time about your identity being this like thermostat that sits on the wall of your life, right? And like it dictates every degree of your life. So that thermostat on the wall right there, okay, it's an internal game. So no matter what the external condition, if we open these doors like they were just open, cold air blows in. If that thing's set at 75 degrees, it'll turn the heater on and keep that room at 75 degrees. Right. If the reverse happens and it gets super, super hot, air comes from outside, the thermostat will cool it back down to 75. That's your identity. So no matter how hard I worked, no matter how many calls I made, no matter how many people I saw, no matter how many good I got closing it, uh, how many good I got at closing at people, my internal thermostat was like 60 degrees. That's the amount of money, happiness, wealth, success I was going to get no matter what. So I had to figure out how to change the temperature. Because I changed the activity, mm. but I didn't change my temperature. Right. And so I kept producing the same damn results over and over, year after year after year. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? I'm a better salesman. I'm a better closer. I'm har harder working. I've read all the damn books. Why the hell can't I get wealthy? Why can't I be happier? Mm. It's because of that thermostat inside me, my identity, my worth. Because the most powerful thing in the world is to be consistent with the concepts, ideas, thoughts, and views you hold for yourself. Mm. Right? So that's what needed to change. And it's the thing nobody ever talks about or teaches you how to do. And so you can get better at closing. You're not going to get wealthier. It, you can't get wealthier without being better at closing. Sure. But you can get better at closing and not get wealthier. And so it was like, it was the thermostat. Difference. I've seen that. I've, seen, I've experienced that a little bit myself. I've seen other people. It's really interesting. What was the thing that you were thinking? What, what were you telling yourself that was holding you back? It, it was, was keeping it, the thermostat. It, it, it wasn't what I was telling myself. It's what I viewed about myself. So it was my internal thoughts about myself more than even what I was thinking. And so I had to be able to shift that. And so I finally got aware that, okay, my self-confidence and my identity is set here. That's the invisible force. That's why I keep cooling things down when they get hot. That's why I keep cooling life back down. It seemed unconscious. Oh, an appointment canceled. Oh, my car broke down. Oh, this. Oh, that. It seemed completely like circumstantial, except it kept happening all the time in different forms. It would show up differently, but somehow I'd always get back to 60 degrees, right? And so I had to change that. And so how do you change it? Hmm. There's two huge ways you change it. The biggest way, though, is honestly true association. Like, take faith. Just that one thing, because it's the easiest one to measure. You're a 60 degree of faith. You have tons of doubts. You're not sure where you're going. You don't know what it's all about. But every single day you spent it with someone who's a 150 degree person of faith. Mm. They pray. They notice God everywhere. They've got all this faith. Through association over time, somehow they will heat you up somewhere in between where you were and where they are. All of a sudden, your new temperature is 85 degrees. Mm. Wealthy. You're totally broke, which you're not, but you were totally broke. You're 60 degree or financially. You hung around me all day long. I'm at 200 degrees. Every single day, every single minute, constantly. This is an extreme example. Over time, what you would accept, what you would tolerate, what you think your worth would be heated up between your 60 and my 200 to say 120 degrees. Mm. And then if you can get five, six, seven people like that associating with you, now you've got a group, a mastermind, a collective thought around you, mm. your thermostat shifts. 
And so for me, it was adding associations. And to this day, I'm addicted with who can I add to my group that'll heat me up in the areas I want to be heated up in. Whether it's my, I told you about that guy at the gym who's 76 years old. If I can just be around fit people all the time, right? I'm going to dinner next week with Mike O'Hearn, Randall Pitch, and Bedros Kulian. Bedros owns Fit Body Bootcamp. He's extremely fit. Randall Shredded as heck, who runs uh, uh, Live Fit Apparel. And Mike O'Hearn has more fitness covers than anybody in the world since Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? These are three super fit dudes, yeah. okay? And I'm pretty fit too. But you can't hang around those three dudes every single day. Mm-hmm. Do you think we'll all eat different that night than we normally would, right? <laughs> because of the association, right. right? Okay, so if you had dinner with them every night, if you worked out with them every day, would you be more fit? Of course. That's an extreme example. And so the, the caliber of association and the quantity of association. And so I just started adding them. And over time, okay, I'm at 62. I'm at 68, I'm at 75, I'm at 82, I'm at 9. And still to this day, I add those people. That's the biggest way you shift it. The second way you shift it is by doing something in a very short burst of time that you have never done before. It sets a new water line. So if you can do something real quick, a burst of short-term activity, 60, 90, 120 days, it'll... It's just such an awesome dude. Um, and, and he just had such a way of putting that into perspective. And it's just so right. It is you have to add all these people into your network, a collective of people, of friends, of business associates, virtual, literal, in per- everybody <clears throat> that help you see around those corners, that help you get the cheat codes, that help you figure out where do you need to go in order to get what accomplish that goal that you're trying to accomplish. Um, You know, it is just absolutely so important that you focus in on your network, right? And and so so real quick, real quick, just let me know. I'm gonna chat for a couple more minutes here. Um, I'm probably gonna you know pop off here in about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. But answer some questions that you guys have. What questions do you have about building your network, or how I've done it, or my you know my accomplishments, or 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 just even perspectives on growth, and uh, you know and building this team and these people? What questions do you have? How can I help answer your questions? Um, just hit, just uh, you know, just type below, and I'll answer as many as I can in the next handful of minutes. But in the meantime, you know, I, I really do think that it is. It has been such a game changer for me. If I really look back into my life and think about it, you know, there have been major pivotal points. There has been major things I can tie back. There's commonalities, and it always comes back to a few things. Number one, always educating myself, constantly educating. Right? Like I still go to seminars and workshops and virtual things and webinars and any and read books and listen to podcasts and watch doc documentaries uh, and study. I am doing that every single freaking day of my life. Like that is the first most important thing. And then the second most important thing is who are you spending your time with? Who do you know? And how do you surround yourself and create a network of people that can help you get where you want to go? And even better, how can you help them get where they want to go? Right? How do you spend time around other like-minded people? That is the absolute biggest game changer for you, for them, and for everyone else in your group, in your network, in your family. It always comes back to God, you got to educate yourself. And two, you got to surround yourself by other people that are similar and want to accomplish similar things and who have already accomplished what you're trying to accomplish. You know? Um, Darren, re- leveraging my network. I've done loads of free work for them, ready to make the next step and change my life. What advice do I, you have? How do I do that? Dude, you got to tell them what you're trying to accomplish. Right? If they don't know what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to solve, how are they going to help you? You can do free stuff for them all day. Like For example, you can do free stuff for me all day, every single day. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. I'll do this. Darren's awesome, man. Darren's the shit. He's a great guy. I might even introduce you to some people or something like that or help you out or be like, hey, man, you know, whatever. But if I don't know what you need, if I don't know what you have to have, if I don't know what your problem is, I'm not going to think about it, dude. I'm not thinking about it. You're thinking about it, but you're not telling me. And I bet you're not telling these other people too in your network. You have to talk about it. You got to say like, hey, man, I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm trying to make $50,000 so I can, or whatever it is, right? Like if you talked about that and you brought it up, and you don't have to ask them, hey, what would you do? Just be like, hey, you know, it's really interesting. Like what you were just talking about really helped me uh, figure something out. I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm trying to figure this one, solve this problem. Um, do you have any other, you know, info for me or anywhere else I could look at? You know, you already, seems like you've already, uh, you know, really figured out that place. Dude, they're going to give you information. If you're talking about that all the time, you're putting that out into the world of like, this is my goal. This is what I'm trying to accomplish or this is what I'm trying to solve. And you ask questions constantly, it's going to fly your way. That's how, that's how it all changes. 
that is the most important piece. First person who impacted you in a major way in your business, how did you meet? It's a good question. Um, I can think of some people very, very early in my career, but I, I'm trying to think of who had the biggest impact, like from a real impact of, you know, uh, you know seven figures or more. Um, God, there's been so many people, and it's always like so little micro. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say like Tony Robbins, man. I, I think that was one of the biggest things, and actually, it was very interesting. Like last week, they actually did a feature on me and did a video. Um, um, oh gosh, I want to see if I can find it. Um, but anyway, uh, of how you know of how Tony's changed my life and UPW and all that stuff. But anyway, that was I just went to that event, and I was just hell bent on getting into that circle and that network and knowing people. Now I know like. I'm in that, you know, I'm in that network now too. It just took many, many, many years. Um, but that had such an impact for me, even from a distance, where it wasn't me sitting one on one, uh, but it was me listening, absorbing, trying to understand, asking questions. That was a big impact for me. Caliber of Association plus compressed time of newfound life. Oh, absolutely, Steve. Yeah, again, Ed has such a great way of, of uh, uh, or yeah, where did that? Anyway, such a freaking great thing, man, Steve. You're totally, totally right. Um, Anyway, so so I have, um, whoops, 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 whoops. I have something I want to share with you guys here. Check this out. Uh, let me just pull this up here. Whoops. Whoops. How do I do, how do I fix this? Guys, how do I, oh, there we go. Um, give me one, give me one second here. Yep. You just one second here. Uh, just trying to fix this. I want to show you guys something cool. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks right. Thanks, guys. Um, talking about networks, man. Like, I think it's just so freaking important. Talking about lessons. Talking about learning from people that have already accomplished. Um, talking about figuring out, like, how do I take the network that I've created, the people that I know, the intelligence, the information, what we've learned, you know, in my business, growing a seven-figure business and an eight-figure business, going to eventually be a nine-figure business, um, how we've done that for other clients and grown them by billions of dollars, uh, you know, we are launching the Bold Accelerator. It is a program for entrepreneurs, for business owners, and for other like-minded people that freaking understand that there is more to life, that there is another level, that you not only deserve to get to the next level, but you are going to put in the work in order to get there, that you know that you need to surround yourself with like-minded people, that you need other people in your network and in your circle is going to help you accomplish what you need to f figure out, what you haven't figured out yet. That's what we're launching with the Bold Accelerator. We're going to launch it about the end of, but you know, by the end of March, sometime middle towards the end of March. Right now, we are taking applications. It is for only for serious people. It is completely exclusive. It is only for people who are willing to put in the work that need a network. And what we are doing with this, what we are doing with the Bold Accelerator, is a few things while we're still working some of the details out. What members of the Bold Accelerator will get if they're accepted, if their membership application is accepted, is a few things. Number one, I'm going to be doing two personal group uh, consulting and coaching calls for businesses every single month. Another time, every single month, we're going to have someone else from my team do a consulting and coaching call to the group. So you might have my COO who helped build uh, the operations from a, for a company that, uh, of a global company that went from $300 million to $3 billion. She might jump on. We might have uh, Nate who, grew, who, who uh, founded Jets.com before Marquee Jet even existed. Uh, he grew that to a massive, massive company like Goldman Sachs or some of his biggest clients. Um, he then built an ad agency and he sold that four years ago. He is now my managing director of growth strategy. Uh, we might hear from him. We might bring somebody from my content team on every single month. We're going to have different people, myself included, on these live, like actual interactive calls with Q and A's where there's the ability to actually submit your questions, not even just during, but before we can really dig into how do we help you grow? How do we get you where you want to go? I'm going to bring in some of my people in my network. We're going to have guests, um, obviously depending on their schedule, but bringing different people in to help everybody within this network, within the Bold Accelerator who have applied and have had their membership accepted. We're going to bring those people in. In addition to that, 
one of the things that I find that is, uh, you know, that, that, is, that is one of the most interesting things is we were really talking about this, of like, how do we serve the SMB, the small business, the entrepreneurs? Because, and by the way, guys, like, you know, space here, like SMB, small businesses, entrepreneurs are not our clientele. Our average client spends two and a half million dollars a year with us, right? We're working with multi, like very large businesses, right? UFC gyms, Alex Rodriguez, Jennifer Lopez, Orange Siri Fitness, PepsiCo, uh, Tropicana. Those are our clients, right? And so, but what I realized and what we started talking about internally is like, dude, like how do we serve, how do we serve these, all these great freaking people? They're asking me all these questions like, yes, I'm going to continue to do free content and all this kind of stuff. Like that's not going away. But how do we do this on a bigger level? Because my goal is not just, hey, how do we create another revenue stream in bold? Well, granted, it will be. And we're going to be charging for this, by the way. But the application process, there's no charge. There's nothing. There's no credit card. Nothing like that. It's just an application process. Because we only want to take the best people that we can absolutely help grow. And we're going to be completely committed to this process. And it's going to be worth our time because it's absolutely intensive for us to commit the amount of time, energy, and resources to help all of these people and entrepreneurs and businesses grow. But that's our goal. But anyway, so as we're thinking about like, hey, how do we take what we know when we're working with these huge companies and huge celebrities and growing our own business, how do we take that, how do we boil it down, and how do we apply it to these small businesses? We thought about it initially, and for the last couple of years, we've been like, look, we just can't serve that community. We'll continue to do free content. That's cool. But like, we don't want to sell a training program. I don't want to sell something where it's like, here's how you do better Facebook ads. Guys, I can tell you right now, there's some good courses. Neil Patel is a buddy of mine. I make nothing by saying he does really good stuff. Like if you want to learn how to do better SEO and Facebook ads, like he's great. Ryan Deese is great. There's a lot of great people that have the tactical information out there that you can go buy or even online, go on YouTube and Google the questions that you have. You don't need that. And that, that's not what, what we do. And I don't want to sell some sort of like course or program. What we really want to do is we want to figure, we wanted to figure out like how can we put these entrepreneurs and these smaller and medium sized businesses and turn them into like one enterprise client? And the answer was yes, when we really started figuring this out. And so that's the whole idea behind the Bold Accelerator is to accelerate the growth of these businesses from smaller, mid sized businesses to enterprise clients. We want to grow you from the point of where maybe you're doing a half a million or a million dollars a year. Well, if we can grow you to 10, 20, 30 million and now you're an enterprise client working with us, well, shit, we won. Like, we're not going to charge enough to make any sort of real, like, life-changing money off of the actual program. We obviously need to cover our overhead and make sure it makes financial sense here. We're still figuring those details out. But the idea is to help you get to the point of where you can afford the actual advertising agency. That should be the goal of every single person that goes into the Bold Accelerator. That's what we want to do, and that's what we want to change. And so as part of that, as part of the Bold Accelerator, which, by the way, you can go to bold.so slash accelerator. I'll also drop a link. You know, I'm going to drop a link while we're talking about this um, into the comments. Give me one second here. Bold accelerator. Okay. Whoops. Bold. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll put, I'll drop it in the comments in a little bit. Anyways, just so you have it. Um, but one of the things that we were looking at as we were trying to figure this out is we said, look, like, you know, yes, we also don't want to just have like these three or four calls per month. We want to make sure that we can answer ongoing questions, that we can give additional value, that we can give framework and we can give uh, worksheets to and we can answer specific questions to the individuals as well as the group. And we thought about it. And we were first like, all right, do we do a Facebook group? Maybe. Do we, do we, do we, um, do we do it as a LinkedIn group? And the thing about those is, and, and, and don't get me wrong, there's value in both of those, but they're messy, they're sloppy. They, turn, they really degrade very quickly into lacking a lot of value, number one. And number two, um, the problem is as well, is like you're gonna miss a lot of that stuff because it's still in your news feed, right? And so maybe you see group stuff more than you see regular uh, uh, business pages, but the, uh, but the problem is it's still in your middle of your news feed. It's like, how do you pay attention to all that stuff? And so what we realize is, why don't we treat this like we would treat a real client? And so we're go, you're going to actually, anyone that is accepted this, to this program wants to be a part of the Bold Accelerator, we're actually going to bring you into your own Slack channel. There will be a Bold Accelerator Slack channel inside of our actual Slack that we have other clients, other you know all the major work that we're doing, there will be a private Slack channel specifically for the Bold Accelerator. And so you're going to have direct access to my team. 
like direct access. So you ask questions, we're gonna have very specific formats of how we ask questions, there's gonna be no spam rule, all that kind of stuff. Um, but we're, and we're gonna have worksheets and we're gonna have frameworks that you can use and we're gonna drop in there and it's gonna be totally exclusive to the Bold Accelerator program. We're gonna have guests that are gonna jump in. In addition to that, let's say you're asking questions during the week, some people uh, from the group are answering, I might pop in when I have a minute into the actual Slack channel and I might answer some of them. My COO might jump in every once in a while. My content, head of content might jump in. My managing director might jump in. Uh, my, one of my strategists might jump in. One of my digital marketers might jump in. One of our content people might jump in. It's unlimited to what we might and can and will do, and now we're removing it outside of the challenges that happen when we're on Facebook or when you're on LinkedIn groups because you're in this, you're in Slack for freaking business. And so, our goal is to give you so much access and so much information and so much help that actually grows and accelerates your business to the extent and the point that goes way beyond what you would be able to do on your own or even with your current network. And in addition to that, the most two other most important parts is the network. The people inside, that's why we have this application process because we want to make sure that the only people inside of this are serious, that can help each other grow and want to be a part of this. Because we, just like when I was at the Tony Robbins thing for the first time ever, I was in a room with other people that were super motivated, that were super driven, and that changed my entire life. And so this is, if we put those same types of people that are super driven and super motivated and business oriented, that are entrepreneurs and people that are even bigger than that, that have big businesses together in the same group and we connect everyone, someone in there can solve your problem and we can definitely help you solve your problems, right? And that is what this, this is. And the other piece of it that we learned that is, that is one of the biggest challenges, the, one of the biggest challenges of any program, no matter how good it is, is accountability. Like, we can give you all of this information. We can give you all the tools. We can give you the workbooks. We can give you the framework. We can give you connections to people inside of the group and outside of the group and inside of my network if they can help you. But if you can't stay accountable, if you don't do this every day, day in, day out, it falls apart. Eventually the wheels come off. And so as part of this, we're working on actually creating an accountability program to which as we go through the membership applications, we find, oh, this person in this person, they're in very similar, they're in very similar levels, similar challenges, similar opportunities, not competitors. You're now accountability partners. So we're gonna actually connect you directly with somebody. And every once a week, every single week, you guys are gonna be required to actually get on a call yourself that you coordinate and say, hey. What, were, what are your goals for next week? How did you do on your goals from last week? And check in. So now you have that accountability that's often missing when it comes down to whether even group or one-to-one -one coaching or consulting or anything else. We've, we are figuring out how do we change the model. And I don't know anybody that's done this. I don't know anybody that's done anything like this that's in Slack because we're treating it like real businesses because you are. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get to your, start your first business or you're doing 50, $100 million in sales. And I can tell you, there's been people that have already submitted to the Bold Accelerator, and there's everyone from really small startup entrepreneurs, like, hey, I made 30 grand last year, I made zero dollars yesterday, I lost some money last year, I'm trying to get started, all the way to there is somebody that has a multi-hundred million dollar company that has applied, there's a $40 million company that has applied, there's a $70 million company that has applied. There's everybody in between, and plus the entire team here at Bold, plus my network, plus everyone else that we've been talking about, and that is what is going to be the game changer for you to help accelerate your business. And so what I want you to do, if you think this is helpful, if you think this could help grow your business, this sounds good to you, go to bold.so slash accelerator. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna put it in the comments here to make sure that you have it as well. <coughs> and, and make sure you spell accelerator right. Um, it's easy to spell wrong, even I type it wrong half the time. Uh, <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Um, what I want you to do is go there and fill out the membership application. There is, no, there is no obligation to go past that. We are hoping in the next couple of weeks that we get to the point of where we've gotten through most of the applications and that we have whittled them down to the people that we believe we, that are really a good fit, that we could really help, and we'll reach out to everybody and let them know either way whether it's a fit, whether it's not a fit, it's gonna be ongoing. This is every single month. This is multiple times a month. This is just, this is not like, hey, this one-time course for six weeks, we're gonna teach you this one thing. No, this is a lifestyle. This is a game changer for you, for your business. This is how we help you accelerate your growth, both personally, professionally, business-wise, strategy, marketing, growth, other business areas that you need that will help you get to where you need to go. I'm curious, Number one, has anyone that is here watching right now submitted 
a membership application? And number two, does anyone have any questions about what the Bold Accelerator is or why network is so important? I'll answer any questions anybody has for the next five or so minutes, and then I'm going to have to jump off. Um, and as well, let me just make sure that I, I, grab the, uh, I grab the link here. Just give me one second. But what questions do you have that I can that I can absolutely help you with right now while we've got some time? Because, guys, by the way, this is your opportunity. There is, you know, not only do I obviously have the ability to help you and connect you um, and make a lot of things happen, but there are other people that are in here that are going to read this, they're going to see your comments, they're going to look at what questions or the goals that you have, and they can help you get to where you want to go as well, right? Like, that is what is so beautiful about this. That is what real networking is. It's about not just holding back and saying, hey, well, I'm connected with these great people, but I don't know how to utilize them. Dude, you got to talk about what you need. you got to put it out there into the world and make sure that they know where you're trying to go because that's how they're going to help you. That's how I can help you. That's how the other people in this feed right now can help you. That's how if you get into the Bold Accelerator, you apply and you get into the Bold Accelerator, that's how the other people in there, and that's how my network and other folks are going to be able to help you. Um, so what questions do you have? Let me, I'm just typing this up here so I give you the link. Membership application. Cool. And uh, I'm going to make sure that I I'm gonna make sure that I pin this. Whoops. Come on now. Well, I messed that up already. <laughs> Let me try this again. I'll delete that one later. Membership application. Oh, God, it's killing me. It is uh, application submitted. Delete comment. Let's try this again. Delete comment. Okay, cool. So what other questions do you have? Who else has, if anybody, has already submitted an application? I'm curious. Membership application. There we go. I got it that time. Submitted, looking for your back. Tim, awesome. Neil, awesome. I'm really excited. Look, there we go. <laughs> I'll pin that later. Um, anyway, oh, I'm on my personal, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, um, look, I, it, 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 is, it is so, so important for you to think about how do you grow yourself? How do you grow your business? How do you surround yourself with the people and the processes and the frameworks and the knowledge that can help you get from where you are right now to where you're trying to go? That's it, that's all this is and that's what the Bold Accelerator is. I am trying to help as many businesses that are in the earlier stages, that are sub a billion dollars or sub a hundred million dollars or even sub a million dollars, they're trying to get from here to here. Because my goal, if I can do that for as many people as possible, guess what? Might take a year for some of you. Might take five years for some of you. But some of you are going to do it and you're going to commit and we're going to help you actually accelerate your business to the point of where you're an enterprise client and then you're spending two, three, four million dollars on advertising and Bold is helping you actually even accelerate the size of your company there. Right? Like I want you to become an enterprise client. I don't expect you to do that because that's the other thing too, right? Especially smaller businesses. They often are like, oh, hey, like, you know, and they end up with a small agency that doesn't really help them, just takes their money and spends it. Dude, I don't want to do that for you. Uh, that's not my business model, right? We work with big clients, but this is something I'm super passionate about because I'm creating this for me 12, 18 years ago. Because if this existed for me then, I might not have ever ended up on the couch. And I just wonder, I will live with no regrets, but I always wonder, man, if I, if I knew what I knew now, somebody gave me that guidance 18 years ago, where would I be? Where will you be? Where will you be if you don't do it? Where will you be if you go like, ah, you know, I'm not sure, I know enough people. Okay, maybe. But what happens if you leave, you leave your chips on the table? Because, man, time is the most important precious asset that we've got. We don't get any more of it. Non-renewable minutes. None of that comes back. We burn that time. It's gone forever. So everything should be accelerated because, dude, you don't know. You might get to retirement and that's it. And you don't get to have it. Dude, for all I know, man, this is my last day. Not go, knock, knock on, I got to knock on actual wood. It's a weird thing for me. Anyway, <laughs> knock on wood. That's not the case, man. I'll be around for 150 more years. But, dude, I don't know. So why am I going to wait around? Why am I going to hesitate? Why am I going to wait for the opportunity 
or like when it feels right or when it's comfortable or when, when I, everything's in line. Why don't I accelerate everything now, today, yesterday? I want everything yesterday. I want to do everything yesterday. I want to do it faster. I want to do it better. And I want to over-deliver on everything I ever do in life. Because, man, why cut it short? Because if you're not willing to over-deliver on everything you spend energy on in life, then why do it? Get rid of it. It's not worth it. F it, man. Life is too damn short. You know that. So, look. Last chance here, man. I, I really implore you to... Uh, apply to the Bold Accelerator. I put the link in uh, the comment section as well. If it's a good fit. If it's not, it might not be fit. I'm not trying to sell you anything right now. Just apply for a membership. We'll talk about the rest later once we go through. Once we get into March, we'll talk about those other details if you're a good fit. If you're not, we're going to let you know, and that's okay too. We only want people that we can help grow that are also going to help the community grow. We want to make a game changer, something that nobody's ever done before, and that's what we're creating here. Casey, you're three minutes in and haven't answered one question. Casey, what's your question? <laughs> what's your question, Casey? I'll answer it right now. Let's see. Brianna has a question. How do you add value to people who have more experience and are further along in growing their business? What do you mean? Like what? Like I'm not sure. I don't really get that question. Haha, <laughs> cool. Exactly. Like, you mean, like, okay, hey, there's somebody who comes in and has a billion-dollar company, and I don't have a billion-dollar company? We're already working with them. Tropicana, PepsiCo, UFC. Like, those are our clients. So we're already doing it. Like, you don't have to have it yourself. You have to have done it. And that's what we're doing, right? So, like, that's it. And Casey, give me a damn question. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to jump off here, man. There wasn't a lot of questions, a lot of statements, man. And that's the other thing, too, right? I ask people for questions, and they make statements. Dude, I'm not answering statements. I'm answering questions, Right? Anyway, I got, I, got, I got one more minute. You throw in that question, Casey, or anybody else, I will answer it. I will answer it. Um, but anyway, look, I am, regardless, regardless of the accelerator, regardless if you apply or don't or get in or don't, that's cool, man. Like, I want to add value, and I want to make sure that I give you some tactics. Oh, you mean as a person. But that's the thing. This is the whole, the whole, the whole thing. How, do you, how does a young person add value? Oh I, see. oh, I see what you're saying. You're not asking me specifically. You're asking that more like hypothetically. All right, thank you for clarifying, Brianna. How does a young person add value? I don't know. Do you have something of value, right? Like you could be young and be really great at art and there's somebody older that sucks at artwork. You can add value by doing artwork for them, right? You could add value by somebody that's trying to really understand a younger demographic and you totally understand that demographic. You understand everything about them and all your friends are those people and you could educate them on it. There's a lot of different ways to add value. You just got to see, like, what do you have you done or have experience or insights into that they haven't? But I'm also going to be honest with you. There's a lot of people that have experienced more than you that you can't add value to, and they don't need your time. And that's okay, too. That's okay, too. So now it's just focusing, all right, I need to grow in order to get to that point. Like, there's not always an answer sometimes, unfortunately. Sometimes the answer is there isn't one. Um, Casey, how, do you, how are you going to help and what does the program entail? What marketplaces? I am a fan of you and Bull, just want more info. Got it. Thanks, Casey. Um, so let me see. How are you going to help? What is the so, so, so the program is, is, is as follows, right? The Bold Accelerator is as follows. I am going to do two live uh, um, um, Zooms every single month. They're going to have different topics. Sometimes we're going to do sales. Sometimes we're going to do marketing. Sometimes we're going to do mindset. Sometimes we're going to, we're going to pick main topics. We're going to have the ability for everyone to submit their questions prior to the, Zoom, the live Zoom. We even do a little Q&A during the Zoom if there's time. And we're going to go through the tactics, the strategies, the insights, and the connections that we can create in order to solve some of those specific topic problems. And I'm going to do that twice a month. In addition to that, once a month, maybe more, but at least once a month, we're going to have somebody else from on my team jump in and they're going to do a different topic. So my COO, who if you weren't in here before, she helped build the operations for a global company that went from $300 million to $3 billion. Um, my managing director of growth strategy, who founded Jets.com uh, and then b built and founded a uh, before marquee Jets, right? Um, he, he built and founded an ad agency and sold it four years ago as well. Um, 
he will come in and talk about entrepreneurship and growth and scale. I'll have a content person come in, my head of content come in and talk about content or creative or whatever it is, right? So we're gonna do those live three times every single month plus the entire group, anybody that's in this accelerator will be in a private Slack channel just like you would be a client inside of our Slack, our business bull worldwide Slack, just like a client. So you're gonna be able to network with each other. We're gonna have very strict protocol in how you uh, communicate within that channel, how you ask questions, non-promotional, no spam, none of that stuff. We're gonna shut it down. You're gonna be inside of our own Slack, like a business, asking questions um, and other people can answer, connecting the networks uh, of the different people in the group. Hey, somebody might need something. We might know somebody that we can connect you with outside of the group. We'll be able to do so. Um, we'll answer questions on an ongoing basis within Slack. Like I might jump in there. Hey, I'll, like on a commute home, is like, oh shit, here's the last couple of questions. Let me answer them. My COO might jump in there. Somebody else on my team might jump in there. Maybe my web developer jumps in there if it's a question relative to that. And make sure that we're keeping this going like an ongoing basis. Um, the other part of it is we are putting people together uh, for accountability partners. So what we're doing through the application process, we're looking at people that are in similar uh, parts of their journey, right? Hey, similar problems, similar opportunities, similar part of their journey, but they're not competitors. You're gonna get connected with somebody and they're gonna be your accountability partner. And you two are gonna be responsible. And we're gonna have the framework of how you do this Every single week, you two need to jump on a call or meet in person if you're in the same area. And you're going to go through an entire framework. Where, hey, what were your goals for next week? What were your goals for last week? How did you meet them? How did you measure them? What were your challenges? How can we help each other? And make sure you're holding each other accountable. right? So then that way, you're not going to want to get on a call every week and be like, oh, hey, yeah. Oh, dude, you crushed it. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't follow through. And if somebody's getting somebody like that that doesn't follow through every week, they're gonna to talk to us and we're gonna partner them up with somebody else and we're gonna to talk to the person who's kind of slacking off individually and see if they still really should be in the group. Um, anyway, so it's gonna be it. I'm gonna have some guest speakers come in, some of the people in my network um, and a bunch of other stuff. And then, oh, I didn't mention it. And then once a year for everybody that, um, that has been there, um, uh, we're going to do like an in-person event. Right, so we're gonna do an in-person thing just for the Bold Accelerator. The other thing is too, right? Like there might be some companies that we might, want to invest then or like there's a lot of opportunity here but that's more of like an if scenario uh i'm not making any guarantees on that side um but anyway that's really kind of the ballpark of it and and so we're going to have q a we're going to make sure that we really answer and again we're going to have workshops uh, i mean um worksheets we're going to have frameworks we're going to have q a's we're going to do all of that stuff so it's not a like preset program we're going to record some of the stuff so you can go back and watch it and reference it like all of that but this isn't some like pre-recorded program that you go through this is live shit all the time ongoing um to actually help you solve some of your business problems and questions and and oh i forgot about this because we have so many cool things um and you get a permanent discount on anything that we sell whether it's upcoming tickets to a think bold event or even a hat you want to buy a cool hat um like other other like business services if you're a big enough business that you can actually hire or the agency the enterprise side of the agency like that's also part of being in this accelerator so we want to give everything to where whether you're a startup entrepreneur or you're a bigger business that just really needs this network this connection this ongoing insights these workshops uh and this training and this coaching and consulting on an ongoing basis for me for my team, access to them inside of Slack, plus bringing in other internal and external resources. Um, that is what the Bold Accelerator is. Hopefully that answered your question. Well, listen, I've got to, uh, hopefully that answered your question and I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'll just throw it up here one last time on the screen for anybody that didn't see it. Uh, bold.social slash accelerator. I'm going to pin my comments down here in the comments when I jump off. Uh, so you can just click on it. Uh, if the bold accelerator sounds like something that would be valuable to you to grow your network, to make the connections, to give you the framework, the insights, the education, the consulting, access to myself, access to my team, access to other people in my network. Um, and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, if you think that's valuable, I highly suggest you go there and apply. There's no application fee, there's nothing. It's just, we're just trying to look for the really great people. And then sometime in the next couple of weeks, we will let everyone know if you made it, great. And we'll tell you what that then entails. If you didn't, we'll tell you why. And that's it. You know, I, it's, 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 we are, you know, we are really looking to help other companies grow. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And I figure I'll give you a little, little quick little, Look at, dude, look how big this is. Yeah, I could put a whole half pipe in here. 
And actually, I was kind of joking, but then I realized, I was like, oh my God, my 16-year-old self always said like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a half pipe in my office. And I'm like, fuck, I kind of almost should do that. Like, it'd be really freaking cool. Like, so, you know, the new gray wall, so it's a lot of emptiness in here right now. Kitchen, that's where I was, just over there. Um, anyway, I'll give you a little quick, little quick insight over here. Another conference room, table's gonna go there. This is, uh, there's the end, there's the new entrance. They're just still doing some little bit of work over there. There's some of the other, the, the, the regular part of the office, the desk. Anyway, look, I really, really, really appreciate you. And uh, I hope that if, uh, I hope I added value, like regardless of the accelerator program, I hope I gave you some stuff that was worth your time <laughs> to help you work through uh, your network and why it's so important. I hope that framework really helped you uh, regardless of, of what I'm talking about right now. So anyway, look, I really, really, really appreciate you. I look forward to the next one. I, we're putting out a bunch of new content, by the way. If you haven't seen it, we're getting back on that game. So check it out. Um, the Bold Accelerator, man, is going to be a freaking game changer. Um, and if you tuned in late, wait, go backwards because... We we're talking about the bold accelerator, but this well, that wasn't the whole thing. Like, there's a lot of really good information in the first uh, two thirds of this Facebook Live. So I appreciate you so much, and uh, I look forward to doing more of this with you and 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 having you in the bold accelerator program. If that's if that is a good fit for you, I'll see you around. And anybody that's coming to the the bold uh, marketing and strategy workshop next Monday here, can't wait to see you too. I'll see you then. Think bold, be bold, and get after it. Go after the thing that you know is possible for you. Build your network and don't wait.